Here we go. Hello, everybody. Big time auction today. So excited. Hope you guys can hear me. Give me a thumbs up if you can. We'll start with a giveaway. Let people get on before we start the auctions. Want to give everyone who, has, who wants to bid a chance to bid. So why not start? With a giveaway, this is the Tarmac Works Lamley Group Toyota Chaser. Just came out from Tarmac Works. I won't be selling this bundle for a little bit because I need the pins. The pins are uh, on their way. They're being made, and well, they're actually on their way to me. Once I get them, I'll be ship. I'll be uh, selling the bundles. But I'm gonna give two people a chance at the beginning of the show and the end of this show to win an early version of it. This is the Lamley Special Edition. You can see. There it is. Can't get it in focus. There it is. Um, so you guys can sign up for that. And then we will get on with these amazing Lamley Studio Works Customs by 22 Avenue. His name is Chad. Many of you know his work. Pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, when, when we were conceptualizing Lamley Studio Works... He was one of the first people I approached, and this is a long time coming. Uh, he's been working on these for a while, and then we are kind of setting up all of the logistics of Lamley Studio Works, getting the cases from Cobalt Work, um, from Cobalt Displays all put together, and we're finally here. And Chad, if you're watching, very excited to finally be here. It seems like it's been years, and it probably has. So... So let's give this uh, giveaway a couple minutes and then let's get to the nitty gritty. The store is loaded. I put a bunch of stuff in there from the Lamley carded collection. I also put in the Defender bundles and the Lamley Auto World Cadillac and um, what was it? The Cadillac and the Ford GT40. They are all in there. The numbers are dwindling on those. So if you have not gotten those Lamley exclusives, I would definitely do it. Um, they're in there. There's some Hot Wheels stuff from the Carded Collection. So if you get, as always promised, if you get something from the Carded Collection, you get the, uh, the little special edition or the limited edition Lamley, what we call it, the Chase sticker, the Spectre Flame sticker, this special kind of reflective sticker. I have only reserved that. Don't give it to anybody. It's I will sometimes give away stickers, but that sticker's only if you buy from the actual Lamley uh, Collection. So... Um, I put a few things in there if you want it. Did the Super sell out? As far as I know, it did. It sold out at the show, and then Auto World put up their allotment on the AutoWorldStore.com, and I think that sold out. So I think that's done. If I have any extras, I mean, I I I think I have a couple, but I'll worry. I'm actually going to do probably in a little bit. I I'm I might do a Lamley show, just a little of Lamley exclusive. Some of the things I have kind of lying around. But that's for another time. Upcoming shows, if you haven't signed up, and we'll go about another minute, then we'll draw a winner and get this auction going. Upcoming shows, we've got, um, we may have a purge video, a purge stream coming up Wednesday. I might even be doing a purge live stream on YouTube today. By the way, if you're on YouTube, hello. If you want to bid on these or try and win these giveaways, you got to be on Whatnot, so go sign up. Um and then, uh, what else? Okay, so there's that. Then I'm going to do an M2 sales and giveaway show. I have a few... Th I've, I've had these, and it's time to move to for someone else to, uh, to add these to the collection. All JDM M2. Chases, rarities, the very first Auto Japan set. They have been... They're so cool, and they've been sitting in my collection, and I've been so focused on making space, and I and I think that they would be enjoyed by other people. So I'm actually going to give, give some away, sell some, do a whole show next week dedicated to that. All M2 JDM, and then... Um, and then we're going to do, uh, well, I'll talk about the other shows here in a little bit, because we're going to draw a winner and get to these auctions. So let's get to it. Gussie 23, congratulations. This is yours. All right.
Let's get to it. I'm going to show, I'm going to even move these off to the side. We're going to go as numbered in the auctions. There has been some pre-bidding on these. We can talk about the concept of Lamley Studio Works. This is the first one that we're doing. Hold on. These will be 30 second auctions, not sudden death. So if you, there's pre-bidding, so you'll see them jump, but then um the way this works if you're new to this is actually i'm keeping these in the case i'm just i'm not even gonna these are going to other people now i've shown them off enough that i want to keep them in the case um cobalt it comes in the case it comes in the special box if you haven't seen the box sorry that's a little i can even show it to you here real quick this is just all preliminary i know you guys want to bid um there are nine of these made by 22 Avenue and uh, if you bid it extends the time a little bit so there's no sudden death it's so truly the person who wants to bid the highest will be the one who wins it so get in there but obviously they're they're quick auctions so you want to do that all right 30 second auctions this is the tan one this is numbered one this is the Dodge Charger 22 Avenue Customs. I'm so excited. Here we go. Cool to see people interested in these. Remember, the concept here is that these are art pieces. And so I know that some people will be priced out on these. Some people won't, but... And they'll all go for various prices, but... We, there's something, you've got the Arsham Hot Wheels thing happening right now, and it's like, it's so cool to see art and Hot Wheels merging. And that is the purpose of this, is to give these customizers, I can serve as a gallery because I've got this audience, and this serves as like an, a chance for these customizers to get the kind of like art style, gallery, museum style attention that they deserve. Because these are next level piece of art. Swift's, Swift ZZ, hope I said it right. Congratulations. This beauty is yours. I cannot wait. I will get these sent out. Get it in a box and moving. All right, let's do number two. I know there's been interest in this one. Has kind of a petty feel to it. Remember, the concept here is that these are like barn finds. Um, like if, like if the, this is the Fast and Furious Charger, every one of them is that Fast and Furious modified Charger. And what Chad did with these is, hold on, I'm making sure this auction is ready, there we go, is what happens if these are these old kind of, they were old NASCAR racers, then they were put in a barn and found, and then the last one is like what it would look like restored. That will be the last one that we auction off. So if you're on YouTube, move on over to Whatnot if you want to bid. If you just want to watch, just enjoy watching. All right, <clears throat> let's get to this petty style, rust it out. Dodge Charger, I'll show you the top of it. White rims are beautiful on this. I love that idea of doing the white rims, kind of modernized. Here we go. One sixty four life. I know that you've had your eyes on this one. Thirty second auctions to give you guys some time. Look at it, think about it. Got a first whatnot show there. I didn't see who that was, but thanks for being here. The white rims on this one are, and most of them have white rims, are the ones that really kind of stand out for me. Superbird, congratulations. I wonder if you're a Superbird fan. Maybe you've seen the other customs that uh, Chad has done. He's a He's definitely taking on the Superbird. It's a stunning piece that you got, and it is on its way to you. I actually like the the energy that's watching you guys bid is so cool. Like it just is cool, and it's cool to see this kind of attention. All right, bright orange. By the way, Whatnot is doing an all day, um, like retro vintage Hot Wheels show. I'm actually gonna raid one of the sellers when we're done here. 
Okay, let's talk about this orange one. So if you so you definitely want to watch, they're going all day today, which is super exciting. Okay, this is the bright orange version. I'll show you the top of it before I uh, start the auction. The treatment of these is all different. If you start looking, there's subtle differences in the tampos and what he's done. You can look around, obviously, all the, the rust patina treatment is all a little different. Let's get this started. Is this the one I think that Chad said was his favorite? Chad, if you're on, I can't remember if this is the one that you, there you are. There it is. You did say it. This is Chad's favorite one is this bright orange one. And it does stand out color-wise. It really does. Absolute stunner of a piece. The rust patina uh, on this is fantastic too. There's a common name. I've seen MAM671 on this before. You come in quite the collection of the Lamley pieces. I want to see your collection. It's pretty sweet. By the way, I did. There are 10 made, and the 10th one is already in the Lamley collection. The uh, That's another part of this concept. Okay, what's right? Which one is next? Oh, the silver. Um, hold on. So let's talk about the silver one. This one is one of my favorites. So when the customizers that I'm working with, and I'm going to preview the next Lamley Studio Works for November, but when I work with them, they there is there's ten made. We sell nine, and the tenth goes into. As I said, this is kind of like we're treating it like a gallery. So there's going to be a permanent Lamley Studio Works collection. So there's one of the Massanong Porsches is in there. One of the Project Diecast Dotsons is in there, and one, I'll show it later, but one of the Chargers is in there. And um, this is the one of the ones that I considered to add to the collection. I'm looking at it wondering why I didn't pick it, but too late now. I'll show you the top here. This one with the silver really takes on a stunning patina look. And this is why I really thought this one would be great for the permanent collection, but it's going to be in someone else's collection. Let's get it started. White rims with the silver. One sixty four life jumping in again. Good to see you there, man. I know you've been excited about this one. Which one stayed in my collection? I'll show it later. <clears throat> The reason I can't show it now is because the way I'm set up is it's actually in a drawer underneath the particular, like I can't get it out. So, and I'll show it later because I want to focus on these nine. It's a, it's the exact same theme. It's a, it's a rusted out color. It's all that's all similar, same tampos, same tampo style. I think it has white rims. Midnight oil 87. Congratulations. You got the silver one. One of my favorites. I will move that off to the side. Okay, quick tangent. You stores loaded, bunch of stuff in there. Definitely check that out while I'm going to show you. I'm going to preview a little bit of what one of the upcoming shows is. Well, I'm not even going to preview it. I'm just going to tease it. So I mentioned I've got the M2 show scheduled next week. I have a giveaway show for November. I do one giveaway show a month, and the giveaway show for November is tentatively scheduled for November 4th. And it's all Mini GT. Mini GT is super, super popular on uh, on whatnot and among collectors. And so I thought it would be fun to do a full Mini GT. And I think there's going to be a bunch of chases I'm going to give away. Still working on that. But that's on the 4th of November, tentatively scheduled. November 5th, I will break down the details of this. But November 5th is a really cool special show that we're going to do with... I'll show it to you. Uh, this is all I'm going to show you. Mini GT has done a very special, incredibly limited run of a car to raise money. There's, well, I'll talk about all the details, but to raise money for Hawaii, for Maui. And for you Mini GT collectors, this is one of the rarest Mini GTs ever made. And to add to that, there will be an equal 
number of super rare Kaido House models. I will unveil these in a week. And then I've got an interview set up and all this other stuff so you guys can see. This will be November 5th, and you will want to prepare for this. Um, all the details will come out, but I definitely want everyone to kind of know and kind of like set it in your brain. Next week, it will all be unveiled. But this is really cool, really, really special. And uh, for the cause it's going for, and then for you collectors that are Mini GT Kaido House collectors, you're going to want to see this. So, all right, let's talk about the black one. Another one that really shows off the patina styling here. Right here. Like it really, that, that edging and everything else really kind of stands out. Let's do the black one. This one gets this, what's unique about this one too, is it got different rims. Most of them got white rims. This one got the black chrome lipped rims on it to give it that menacing look so this is definitely the black on black version which looks looks amazing all right let's get it started an absolute stunning piece when we're done with this one we'll do a couple of auctions and then before the last year i'm actually going to preview the next set Yeah, this one, I, all of them have little differences. And this one, the wheels, obviously the color is really cool on this one. Clint Evans, congratulations. Your first purchase with me and you just won a super unique piece. It's awesome. I just love watching these collections form. I get super excited. And some of you guys are becoming big, uh, like Lamley Studio Works collectors. All right, let's do... What would you call this? I guess you call it yellow. It's almost a mustard yellow. Another one of the unique colors. Chad, if there's something you want to say about this one, I just think this one is super cool too. Each one, what I love about what Chad did with these is they're definitely part of a collection, but you know, cause they're all similarly themed. They're obviously the same casting, but each one has such a unique, unique elements to it that you know no one's gonna have all nine I, I haven't seen anybody repeat win right but you're you're gonna have a unique piece but also something that's kind of part of a bigger picture you guys should all win these you should all communicate with each other and show them off all right The fun thing about, you know, so far with the artists I've worked with is these, like, these are better in person. I'm trying, I'm using the studio actually, because I really need to give them the proper, like the proper lighting so you can really see the details here. Piece of dust here, but it, it also shows up little specks of dust in it too much too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking this one? Ed Miskandari. I hope I said your name right. You never know where the emphasis is supposed to be, but doesn't matter. You won this one. Congratulations. It's a beautiful piece. Heading over here. All right, we have three more. In fact, let's uh let's stack them. These cases, by the way, that Cobalt did are stackable. And while we're doing that, I'm going to tangent one more time because I'll show you what the November, I've got it tentatively set for November 11th. It might, it might go one week later because we also have the Aloha Kine Customs for Maui that we're just finalizing a couple things on the cases and then we're going to be doing that fully for charity. All of the 808 style trucks, I don't have those, but you've been seeing them develop on his account and also on mine. And that will happen. But um, the November Studio Works drop is finally the Terry Diecast Skylines. Each one, this is, he took the uh, took the R34 Hot Wheels casting, shaved off the spoiler. This is the, this is not the, uh, this is the premium, not the RLC. Cut out the hood, built 
individual engines, unique individual engines for each one of them. So each one has its own color, its own wheel style, and its own engine. That's the gray one. I didn't bring out all of them, but... There's a VTEC, there's a Viper. I mean, it's just insane in these. I can't go totally close up on these, but I will give these proper attention. It's This one's another one, a long time in the making. We started, I think I previewed these back in April, and then we uh, we wanted to do a couple of little tweaks on one of them, and so we took, so took some time, and now here they are. And they're gonna be in the November drop. There's nine of them, like usual. I'll show you one more. Who else swapped the damn R34? This is what's so cool about these is like, they can be what you want it to be. You put a Prius engine in if you want to. That's the whole point of these is like, the fantasy that you can do here. I mean, it's just amazing. You wouldn't do it on a real car, so do it on a Hot Wheels casting. This is just like 22 Avenue. This is amazing work, like next level art. So, they do not have hoods because this is all about the engine. Just stunning, stunning, stunning pieces. They will be, and I'll show all of them off um, in, uh, yeah, in the coming weeks or whatever. I've got so much to do. Lamley Awards coming up. We're going to do a Lamley Awards themed show. All right, this is the orange one, white rims. Let's get going. Same thing, subtle differences here. I'll show you the top so you can see the patina on top. All of it's, like I said, everything is different on each one of these. Each handcrafted. Just stunning pieces. All right, here we go. Three left, this one, and then the next two. Seen you guys debating swapping the R34. Well, that's the genius of a 164. Can't drive it, but you can have the replica of it. I think it was June of Mai when he talked about his R34 casting. He said that he would never do what he did to that R34 for Kaido House. Joe from the West, congratulations. <clears throat> Excuse me, the orange one is yours. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Putting it off to the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two more. A lot of attention given to this one. The pink was another one I debated adding to the permanent Lamley collection. Um, you got to put it off to the side here. And by the way, while you're while we're doing this, if you haven't, you gotta check out the store. A bunch of stuff in there. All of the Lamley carded collection pieces get the special edition sticker. All right. Let me do we'll start the pink here in a second. Show you the top. Again, when you compare and contrast the roof, when you look at the roof, you can kind of see how Chad did this. And uh, you can see that even that like he spent like this one's pink. He spent some individual time like putting it right. What would a what would a pink patinaed NASCAR modified Charger look like? Let's start it. So what did June say? So June talked about his R34 casting, right? Which that modified it had like super wide, and he said he would never do it to a real R34 because they're so valuable. But that's the fun of designing these 164 cars is you can do whatever you want to them. You can lift them, you can slam them, you can make them into gassers, low riders, do whatever you want. And that's what's so fun about 164. And that's what I love with these customizers too. So what Terry did with the, with his cars is he said, what would happen if you put this engine in or that engine in? And that's just, like, how can you not love that? Even if it doesn't make any sense, that's kind of the whole point. 
You know? I mean, these modified charges wouldn't be in a barn, right? Congratulations, Raw HRM. I don't know if I said that right, but this pink one is yours. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Moving it off, stacking it up, getting ready to pack that, and let's finish off. We're going to do a giveaway after this, guys, so stick around. We'll do a giveaway. But this is the special edition. So this is the one. I'm excited for this one. So another one I debated. In fact, I think Chad and I did talk about this one going into the Lamley Collection. But then I was like, you know what? The Lamley Collection needs to have a piece that was more like the other ones that all were the patinaed look. This one is what would happen if these cars were restored. So imagine that this one had sitting on white rims it was all rusted out it was all patinaed up this a purple dodge charger but it was cleaned up restored new rims the rims on this the gold with the silver lip they're so incredible the wheels really stand out and look beautiful with the purple interiors done all the interiors are done i didn't even mention that this thing is special and it's the, so we call it the special edition. Can't call it a chase because no one's finding these in stores, right? But this is a special edition. Someone's going to get it. We're going to do a giveaway after this. I'm trying to think before we start this auction, if there's anything else I want to say, I did talk about the mini GT charity. You definitely want to be part of that. We're going to have the Aloha kind. Then we're going to have Terry. Yeah, we're good, but definitely check out the store too. While we're doing the last giveaway, let's auction this one off. Here we go. Stunner of a piece. Just let this, uh, we got, oh, there's a familiar name in there. Daniel says, that's cleaning. And I think you meant to say clean, but I kind of like it as cleaning. absolutely beautiful piece and one that i figured would get a fair amount of attention and it is not a surprise at all toast collector that's a name i'm familiar with that's a collector who has some lamley pieces in his collection and you're adding this one, man. Congratulations. We'll get it all packed up nice. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Very deserving price from a very talented artist. Let's do one more giveaway. Early Chaser. Now I can chat with everyone. Outstanding stuff today. Thanks, man. Hey, Toast, check the payment. I think probably what happens is our credit cards go, what just happened? What did you just charge? I've had that happen. So it's happened to me to go like, I don't know what, what are you, what are you spending your money on? Um, so this is the early, this, the tarmac Lamley special edition or Lamley edition Toyota chaser. It's a beautiful piece. Got the Lamley on the bottom. Put this off to the side so you can look at it. And it will be probably December is when I think this will drop on my end. You can just buy the car now. Um, but that was awesome guys. And I, I obviously know that these cars, these customs are not for everyone. And that's why I only do, and they, I want them to be limited. I want them to be like art pieces. I want them to be gallery pieces. And my thought that is for that is because of the artists themselves and they deserve that kind of, uh, of work. And we've got tons in the work. I've, you know, I've approached different artists and I've had some approach me. And sometimes there's language barriers and everything else, but we work through them because they're worth it. 
and we'll have a whole, we have Terry Diecast this year, then we'll probably shut down Lamley Studio Works for the rest of the year because it's going to be all about the Lamley Awards in November, December. And then we'll pick it back up in January, February. And I think we have a really good one. Real good one. I'll just tell you who the artist is. It's bought and built. And I won't say much more than that because it's awesome and you'll love them. Um, but that will be January. We'll, we'll focus on Terry Diecast in November. And Aloha Kaina. I got to get these in my hand so I can start showing those off. The Aloha Kaina, once everything's ready, we did this so last minute because we wanted to raise the funds. Um, we wanted to raise the funds for uh, for Hawaii. So we're like, let's just start on. But obviously, we had to turn things around. These are lifted, high and wide, 808 style Toyota Tacomas, all done differently. If you've been following that, they're just amazing pieces. And uh, you'll dig them. So once they're ready, we'll just like put them up for auction. So they, and they will be true Lamley Studio Work Customs. But definitely go bookmark the Mini GT giveaway show, the Mini GT charity auction, the M2 show. There'll be a Lamley, um, no, there'll be a Lamley Award show in December. So that will be some of the Lamley Award um, candidates will go up. Um, we'll give this one away and then, uh, we got someone to raid for this retro show here and whatnot. So, so lots coming. It's going to be really busy. Can we buy the tarmac? You know what? I will be putting this. I only put up these two for giveaways. I'll be selling the car. You can buy it at other stores, hobby stores, this car now, if you want it, but if you want the pin bundle, which is awesome limited edition Toyota chaser pin. I don't know if lean's ever done a Toyota chaser. Um, just wait. It'll be probably in December, like I said, and I'll do a show here and I'll also sell them on the Lamley at the Lamley store. So fix. Great. I know why that happens. All right. We're going to give this away and then I'm going to raid you somewhere else. Go enjoy some good hot wheels, retro, giveaways and sales today bookmark my shows support these other sellers whatnot has just been awesome they've been supporting this charity stuff that we're going to be doing with mini gt and with lamley studio works and uh so keep keep supporting this app and these sellers like the vintage drop shop we just popped in who's crazy um all right well, I'll just let it run for 20 more seconds, and then we'll see who wins this early chaser. Sticker bundles in there. Get the limited edition sticker. This means you got about maybe 30 seconds to uh, buy anything else in the store that you want. It's there, and then we'll get ready for the next show. Could be Wednesday. Could be a purge show on Wednesday. Just got to get myself organized. Who's our winner? k and Collectibles, it's yours. Sending you this chaser. If you want me to sign it, just uh, message me. But message me here on whatnot. That'll help me. Friends, this was great. This was great. Thank you guys for supporting an amazing artist like 22 Avenue. Maybe we'll do another one with him. I have no idea. But uh, Lamley Studio Works is doing what I had hoped, giving the attention to these incredible artists, giving them the museum gallery style uh, attention that they deserve. So send in this one over, stick around because I'm going to send you right over to one of these retro shows that Whatnot's doing today. So, And thanks for watching. Those of you on YouTube, just come over and join us over here. You're going to get some real vintage stuff here. So check this out. This should be a fun theme today. Bye, everyone.